Hello, in this video I'm going to be doing a walkthrough review of NotePlan. This is the version 3 that's still in beta. NotePlan is advertised as being kind of like a digital bullet journal and I'm using it really just as a way to have all of my notes and all of my calendar events, daily to-dos, and do my weekly review all in one spot. I am really, really enjoying it a lot. As you can see here, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see, I have my calendar over here and that is actually a time block calendar that syncs with my Google Calendar. I have moved a little bit into the future so that you don't see my daily calendar right now, but I can add an event with a shortcut key, sample event at 2 to 3 p.m. for example, and it will automatically fill that out for me so it recognizes it from the text that I've done. I don't have to go down and change all of the menus. And then this again is synced with my Google calendars. So any of my calendars, I can choose what calendar I want it to show up on and I can save it and that will sync with my calendar. It also syncs with my reminders on my iPhone through the iCloud sync. So that is again, really great for me. I can mark it as completed if I want everything in one place right here. You can see that a reminder looks different than an event. And again, all events are gonna show up in my Google Calendar. All reminders are going to show up in my reminders app on my iPhone. I should mention that NotePlan is a Mac and iOS app. So it is not available on the web, it is just available for the Mac version right now and an iOS version for both the phone and an iPad. All right, so on the daily, I can add tasks, I can add bullet points, I can add headers, and I can even link to any of the notes that I have here. That linking is really powerful and I'll show you how that works. So I have a daily view, I also have a week view, like this, and I have certain filters that I can set up on my own, specific to a view that I personally would want to be looking at. I am gonna go back to this daily notes and show you how I use this. So I usually just have some headers, so I usually have my major tasks, and I would list a couple of items there. And you can see that I've kind of memorized the shortcuts now, so, you know, a heading, I just do three hashtags, space, and it's a header. A uh, task, I just do an asterisk and it becomes a task. But you can also just click on it and say that I want a heading three and I want to remember to follow up on these emails. And then sometimes I have a section for my meetings for the day where I would pull in any relevant URLs. So say that I was reading an article I can just copy the URL and then paste it in and it will recognize the title automatically and that just becomes a hyperlink back to the article. It's really just the title that you have and then in parentheses, whatever the URL is and that's how it works, but it automatically does that. Say that another meeting linked to one of my notes that I have here. So you can see that my notes organizes like this I have folders that I can set up and then anything that's in a subfolder, it automatically creates like this table of contents for the main page. And if I click on any of these, I would go to the sub page. So look at how this works. So say that I wanna to link to that note. You can see I can just do this add note and then I can choose my note. So I can just do it like that or I can literally just do the double bracket and link to that and it will take me, boom, right to that note. It's so super convenient. As well, when I'm here, if I finish a task, I can check it off. If I do not finish a task, I can cancel it. I don't wanna do it at all. Or, let me make this into a task. I can defer this to tomorrow. And now, again, I'm in the future. So instead of doing it tomorrow, let me show you how I can choose the next day, which is December 8th in this case. So I am gonna do that same process and instead I'm going to move it to December 8th and I'll show you that when I go forward to the next day, it's right there. It's also backlinked to the original day. So those are all 
hyperlinks to days so I can schedule it for whenever I want to get to it. That works for absolutely anything. So if I didn't get to item three, I can actually just shortcut, use the greater than sign, and then say that I want this on like December 10th or something and I can just schedule it forward to December 10th. That would just put it on my calendar for December 10th. Well, not on my calendar, but on my daily notes. So all of this stuff is a daily note. It isn't linked to your calendar, but you can see the calendar on the sidebar there. You can hyperlink to your notes so easily, again, by just hyperlinking to whatever note that you want. So you can easily get to any information that you need to get. So I'm loving this for my daily tasks. I kind of make a daily list of my major tasks, any minor tasks that I need to do, any meeting notes. I just link them all in one place so that I don't need to leave a million tabs open during the day. I also have a space I use for research or reading notes so that I can keep them all here. And then you can actually just search using command J and you can search globally. So any time I use the word notes, it would show up and I can just click into one of these and it would take me to that day so I can get more details about it. So that's something that's major for me is that all of this is searchable very easily. And then you have hashtags. So you can use hashtags too. I'm using a follow-up hashtag so that I remember to follow up on certain tasks. And so again, that's another way of searching through things. And also if I am reading something, I've been keeping that as a hashtag. I haven't been using the mentions because I'm only working with myself on this, but you could use them in the same way for search type things. I could use a mention like at goals or at today, for example, if I want to organize everything that I need to do today. I haven't needed it for that yet. So anyway, this has made a major difference for me because I literally have all my calendar things, all of my reminders, and I do use a reminder app on my phone, and I have all of my detailed tasks for organizing, like my major tasks of the day, making sure that I'm not filling up my bucket with too many major tasks, little minor tasks I need to get to, all URLs that I need, they're all in one place. And then any more detailed notes, I can take them again all in the same app. So if I'm in a meeting, I might have my certain little tasks here, but boom, I can go over here and start taking more robust notes. And then the last thing is if I'm taking notes on this document and say that here I need to remember to say off of this workshop on Wednesday, I can put that as a reminder on the day that I was on. So I was on December 7th, right? So now if I go back to my daily notes, look at that, you're gonna see it's automatically linked and it's linked to that actual note at the top. So I can simply just click on it, it takes me back to that note. So again, that backlinking between the daily notes and the notes is just really amazing for me because then I'm taking my notes, anything that I'm taking notes on, I can say, okay, I'm taking notes, but you know what? I'm not gonna do this Jamboard mini course until December 20th or something. And because I schedule it like that, when I actually get to December 20th, boom, it's going to show up and it's going to link me back to the note that I was taking at the time so that it is all cross-linked, cross-referenced, easy to remember long-term tasks and short-term tasks. So as somebody who is constantly writing out a lot of notes, who's keeping a lot of articles in mind because you know I wanna build out on some of the research that I've read, the readings that I've read, I wanna keep that in mind, but maybe right now is not the time for it. I want to do it in the future when I know it's going to be a more time timely tip, then I can remind myself, go back to that. I can have it all in one note. So I remember the context that I was thinking at that time, instead of having a million Google Docs, which is what I was kind of trying to juggle before. 
So again, really enjoying this. This is Note Plan 3. There is a monthly subscription, but it is cheap for what it offers. And I just wanted to share some of my first impressions. I've only been using this for a couple of weeks now. I know that there are probably so many more features that I haven't even touched on yet, and I'm still getting my workflow down. I'm still figuring out exactly how I like to have my headers and how I like to have my days laid out, but I'm really liking the freedom that this provides in terms of I can set up the headers as I want it on a daily basis, but also the structure that it provides and the ability to check things off. Again, I can defer them to another day or I can say, you know what, I wanna cancel this completely because I just don't need to do it anymore. So that's, again, my walkthrough, my first impressions. I hope you enjoy, and if you end up using NotePlan, I'd love to hear how you are using it, how it's working for you, any tips that you have for me. Again, I'd love to hear them. All right, that's all for now, bye.